So now, let's shatter and explode our model right here. So I have a model as you can see. Now let's use the deformer shatter first. So let me just go over here into shatter and let me make it a child of Q right here. So once I add in shatter, you can see that that's the strength and size and randomness. Let me just increase the strength and we see nothing happened because this is not a child yet. So let me just decrease it back to normal now to zero, drag the shatter and make it a child. Now it's a child. And now if I were to increase the strength, you can see that the strat uh, shatter actually happens. So if something breaks out, you can see that everything is cool and individual polygons, as you can see right here, is being shattered. So it depends on the number of poly counts that you actually add in to an object right here. So now as I increase the strength, you can see that the size actually disappears just like that because the end size is set to zero. If I were to set this to one right here, bring it out, increase the strength, you can see that now everything is normal as you can see right here. If I were to increase the end size into something like two, and then if I were to increase the strength right here, everything becomes bigger as you can see right here. So it depends on the end size that you actually choose just like that. And over here, you can also increase and decrease the level of randomness. So if you are to decrease this, you can see that everything is at the same place. As you can see, everything at the same place. Increase the randomness, you can see that it spreads apart, which makes it more natural. You can also work with the angle speed and you can see that you can change the amount of rotation it actually takes up when it is actually shattering. So everything rotates out. You can see that everything works as if it is shattering across just like that. It looks much more natural just like that. So that is how you use the shatter deformer. So let me just remove this out. Let's use something different. So kind of like shatter, but something that explodes. So let me go to the deformer right here. There's the Shatter, another one is the explosion. So let me go to explosion, bring it down over here onto the cube. And over here, you can see that the explosion, there's similar options right here. If I were to increase the strength, everything else explodes. So rather than shattering, everything explodes all over. So if I were to go over here and you can see that there's the speed of explosion that you can control, the angle speed, so everything rotates out just like that. And also you can control the end size, increase and decrease. So if you were to keep it one, everything stays the same. So you can explode everything out as you can see right here. Decrease, explode, all right. You can also increase the randomness right here. Decrease the randomness uh, just like that. So. If you decrease the randomness, everything is there as a circle, as you can see. Increase the randomness, everything flies all over, as you can see, just like that. So everything explodes. These are individual polygons that are being exploded as one single model. So that's how the explosion works. So let me just delete this out. There you go. That's how shatter and explosion works inside of the Cinema 4D. There's one more type of expl explosion right here. So if I were to go over here and then go to its options and uh, you can see that there's explosion effects as well so there's explosion there's shatter there's explosion effects let's see how this one works out so you can see that this one is quite different so if i were to uh, bring this down you can see that nothing happens once i bring this out you can see that you can control the area of explosion so you can explode apart so you can have an animation just like this as you can see so let me just go over here and see its options so explosion options so you can increase the times as you can see so you can explode only one part of the image just like that and there you go the explosion actually happens so you can increase and decrease the explosion as you can see just like that there's also different type of strength explosion strengths right here there's the decay amount right here so just like this you can work around with the explosion you can increase and decrease the variation of the explosion also the direction you can choose it right now all direction is uh, actually said you can also set only z axis so only one axis explosion is there you can have linear type of an explosion right here you can have variations in an explosion right here also the blast time the blast speed just like that increase and decrease the blast speed you can increase and decrease the decay right over here just like this and also increase and decrease the variation just like this blast range so more blasts just like that um, lower range if you want much more of a shuttle effect right there and you can increase the blast range just like this. So variation, increase this out. Blast range, increase this out as well. And there you go, just like this. This is how everything explodes, just like that. 
so variation as well so that is how you can use the shatter and explosion to uh, explosion uh, deformers inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe